Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. Welcome, 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 welcome. So let's do my little gummy bears. Okay. So this is going to be for the first half of January 2020. Can you believe it? And this is going to be your overall message for 2020, for January 2020, for the month. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay. So again, this is for the month. It can always change, but this is kind of what's what's going down. What can't be avoided type thing. So Gemini, January 2020. Overall, please. I'm seeing mountains with you guys. Ooh, look at that. You got new beginnings. And the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Well, that's exciting. Okay, so the newness is here. The newness is here. Starting a new life. Finding a purpose, forgiving. You know, um, kind of reflecting on the past, but not too, too much. Um, for some of you, this, this Two of Cups, it's, it's don't give up on those that you love. So I don't know if you're dealing, these two cards can talk about the past or present. I do feel like for some of you, you said goodbye. But if that's the case, I mean, we'll see what's what's going to be in the next couple weeks. But I feel like it's just the beginning of, of something new. So, um, could it be with this person? Possibly, but, you know, I'm not really too worried about you guys, to be honest with you. All right, so, <laughs> I can hear someone be like, you should be, you should be. Can't really get a feel of the energy quite yet. But, all right, Gemini, please. First half of January 2020. Let me sip my coffee. All right. Gemini, first half of 2020. Um, I'm feeling birds. That's too many. I, I, I'm seeing birds, so I'm sure there'll be a bird that comes out in the deck. So you got the six of acorn, which is the six of wands, so success. And to me, it is looking right up at your new beginnings, okay? So... Which is so nice to have that energy because that's it's wands, right? It's fire. The energy is flowing throughout your body. You got the star, and it is a swan. I mean, it is some type of bird, but not the type of bird I was imagining. And I don't know what type of bird I was imagining. I think just, I don't know if I was seeing like taking flight. I'm not quite sure. But, um, this is your future. Like, Somebody's wish, too. Wishing on a star. Uh, that's an old song. I don't know who sings it. It's almost like you're following your path. You're going to be successful. Some of you might be bent out of shape about a new start. I know you're probably like, really? But yeah, some. some, Right? Because I feel like for some, it was some type of a loss. But I don't feel it like that. Um... Gemini, first half of January 2020, please. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. And it's saying it's going to be successful, especially if it's a destined scenario and this is something that's coming together with someone. 
So you got the Eight of Swords, okay? But this is having courage. This is finding a solution. So I don't know if some of you feel restricted right now or uh, kind of what's, what's going on with you guys. Mm. I forgot to put my timer on. Hold on. Hold on. So, let me get one more for you guys. I don't... I don't really feel you're restricted. Because these are not the normal cards, right? But... It's, it's almost like coming up with some type of solution. Peace. Peace within a situation. Something's going to work out for you guys. So stay positive. Although I, I don't feel energy from you where you're not. <clears throat> okay? So you got the queen of air here too. So it's all about your perception too. The truth moving forward. Your intellect. Mental. Mental energy. You got the fool at the bottom of the deck which is fantastic. Okay? So you definitely have a new beginning. Um... It does look like you might be turning your back on one of these type of energies. That's for those who probably had a breakup or not even a breakup. It could simply be it was just kind of like some type of ending in your life. Oh, and that's, look at that's not, it's not a bird, but it's got wings. See, I knew you were flying. Okay. So some of you might want to look up the meaning of a spiritual meaning of a bat. I know they're extremely symbolic. Um... Because I, I felt this. So it was, it's the courage to move forward. The stars, what this is, this, I, I'm almost positive until I clarify, is, is just something, a, a spiritual alignment is what it's telling me. Spiritual success. Next to the star, it's, a, it's like destiny. Not necessarily a wish. Unless you've been wishing for a new beginning. We all wish for a new beginning here and there, right? It's just some people don't come along for the ride. So tell me about this six of acorn. Six of wands, please. A couple popped out. I did notice temperance. Six of wands, please. Gemini. First two weeks of January 2020. You got the tower. So yeah. You you did release something. It's almost like you had an epiphany moment with something. Um, we're dealing with a scorp. Or this is an ending with a fire sign or an air sign. Because you do got the king of feathers at the bottom of the deck. You do have a court couple. Tell me about the star. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna have a good, good night. Yeah, you did have some type of epiphany moment. You have the ace of wands, okay? And the nine of swords. Um, the nine of pence. Alright, loosey goose. This is some type of um, abundance, security coming at you. It, it's a new start, a new wave of energy with the Six of Wands. Some type of an epiphany moment. It, it's using your intuition. Definitely some of you had a, a little awakening. But there's security and abundance. Or you're going to start feeling secure and abundant. There's no question. Confident moving forward. Okay. Um, my girlfriend. Tell me about this. There's too many. Tell me about this Eight of Wands, please. I mean, Eight of Swords. So this is having the courage to really let it go. Really release it. It's almost like it's what, what got released is out of your hands and the new beginning is here. 
is like let the tower fall if it hasn't I feel like it I feel like there's a good chance I'm not taking that money um, it already did three of pence okay so you were feeling awfully restricted in a situation could it have been a third party for some of you possibly but I'm looking at this as there was some type of contract or you're in some some type of contract you need the courage to get out of it or you got out of it because this is what came in first right Tell me about the queen of air. Yeah. Because I feel like either she's out of your life, she or he, and it will be successful. If they're giving you a hard time, vice versa, it's coming to the end of that. And see, so you got justice. So you got two cards of Libra, two cards of truth. And look at the bird. They're both birds. So there is some type of contract here yeah, that looks like came to an end of a contract but it's for you to have a new beginning tell me about justice I mean this could be a new uh, a new contract coming too. You got the shadow self empowerment. Yeah, it's like getting yourself and they're both looking in this direction, getting yourself out of this contract. All right, so don't forget you have this this new beginning here. It's a new path. Tell me about this new beginning. It could be um you got the page of crystals, which is the page of pens. It's ideas, it's it's discipline, it could be work. Okay, um it's it's kind of a slow stop, but Everyone's got to start somewhere. And one more for Gemini. There's too many. One more for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. You got the chariot. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward. Look at both these cards. You got some synchronicities here. Both of these cards, discipline, discipline, truth, truth, determination, new ideas, moving forward, okay, pushing your way forward. Um, let me just double check something real quick. Yeah, it definitely looks like an ending of a contract to have a new one so whatever that's regarding for those who are not ending a contract or anything like that or don't have a lover in your life um this is just stuff crashing around you it, it's just one of those moments where it's like breathe through change is not easy but you're stepping into a, a new comic contract and that's not a bad thing it's a it's, it's a good thing so release Whatever it is that needs to be released, it could be referencing a person, okay, but your new beginning is here, all right. Um, I do feel the need to throw one particular card, and I don't have that deck with me, so what I'm going to do is throw you a lesson card. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. Gemini, next two weeks. First half of January 2020. Gemini, gummy bears. All right. Yeah, see, I was just saying change is, is, is difficult. All right, so it says, I understand that nothing can go evolve without movement. you got worry at the bottom of the deck. I'm learning that worrying doesn't change an outcome in it, and it's so true. You are starting to see that. You do realize there was definitely a change that was needed. Um, but purple might be a thing for you guys, okay? Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be alright. I love you guys.